Hey, what's going on? This is Nate, Tiny Hilltop. I was just kind of walking around, just observing, you know, taking note of things that did well this year and just checking out my trees, seeing where they're at. I lost the two apple trees and I think I'm going to lose the two Jasta berries. Um, I think that's just because they're, they're just too far back, they're shaded out. But, you know, can't do much about it. <clears throat> While doing that, I also noticed my cucumbers are starting to die. I think it's just because it hasn't rained in so long. Got a little bit a couple days ago, but nothing, nothing major. And before then, I don't remember the last time it rained. Uh, also noticed my tomatoes are getting kind of some blossom end rot and just growing funky because I didn't um, string them up just because the cucumbers just went crazy and took everything over before I had a chance to do anything in there. So anyway, um, to get to the point, I was going to wait till after the first frost and I was going to attack the greenhouse. Um, but I think I'm going to start doing that now. My mom and my nephew come in a couple of days and she likes to weed, so I'm just going to stick her on all the weeds on the 10 foot beds. Um, and I'm going to do this greenhouse. I, I want to start now because when I, while doing it, I'll harvest a ton of cucumbers to get me through um, and still have enough left over to donate. But I want to make sure I have it done before winter. Um, I'm hoping to get the plastic on it before winter. If I don't, I'm hoping to at least have the irrigation and everything set up in there to hit the ground running um, in March. But if I wait until first frost um, with everything else I have going on, that, that might not give me enough time. So I'm basically going to kind of cut my losses um, on any future cucumbers I grow in about three weeks. In that same vein, one of the main drivers, I think, for me, just getting overextended this summer was just trying to grow um, to donate. I think what I'm going to do moving forward is I'm going to focus just growing on for myself and then I'll donate the extras. Um, I'm going to take the 30 inch wide beds that I have right now, the market garden style of beds, and I'm going to shrink those. I'm going to chip them down to about a foot because now that I, now that I have the, the sorts of chips, I think that makes the most sense. That way um, I'll have, you know, easily manageable rows, about a foot row, and I can focus on growing things for myself more of a variety. I was very fortunate this summer. I, I had a lot of cucumbers, lettuce, and carrots. And I ate a lot of them. But moving forward, um, I want to have more of a variety. And I think that's hard for me because I just, I tried growing too much. And it's hard when you're focusing on growing large amounts to have the variety, especially for me in my first season. Um, so I'm gonna scale it back a little bit. I guess that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna rip all the plants out, scale it back, try to plant the fall garden, but for sure make sure everything's set up for spring. So that's what I'm doing. See, so this is how the tomatoes are going. It's really weird. Um, they're like wrapping around the vine. I think it's just because I didn't wasn't able to string them up. Um, and the bottom has this. I think that's blossom end rot, but if you just let me know what causes that. If I did something wrong, it'd be cool. Um, I've been eating them, they taste really good. And I'm not dead, so I got that going for me. They taste good. Um, I'm just wondering. I'm hoping it's just because I, I couldn't string them up and then you know next year I won't have that problem. But. If you could throw me some some uh, some info on that, it'd be cool. Every time a bit dizzy, I close my eyes and feel the fizzy. I'm standing waiting, patience. Like an oak, I was laid right here in this alley and be closer. There should be. Got it all cleared out. Um, it's a little disappointing um, having to do it so early, but I, I learned a lesson. Uh, I knew, I mean, I knew I'd make bad decisions along the way to learn how to grow my own food. It's just having to be one of them. I need, I know now that I shouldn't plant unless I have the infrastructure in place 
if it's a vining, you know, variety. But, you know, live and learn. Thanks for hanging out. Um, let me know about the tomato. I think if I string them up next year, it'll alleviate it, but who knows? I'm no expert. Be good. Take it easy. I'm going to take the rest of these cucumbers in. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mention it. I got, I got two um, boxes full, so that'll last me for a long time. But anyway, take it easy. Catch you later.